Happy Tuesday, Floss Tube. Hello, crafty friends. How's everybody doing today? My name is Caroline. Welcome back to my channel. I uh, I had a great question yesterday uh, about uh, how long do I cut my lengths of floss, specifically the Leo and Roxy floss when I'm going to be stitching. And this is one of those things where when you've been doing something for so long, you don't always think about it or think about, you know, telling people or even thinking that, you know, other people would wonder. So usually if one person's wondering, lots of people are wondering. So I thought I would just give you a little quick look because I am about to have a new start today. So that's kind of exciting for me as well. I am just about to start today Winter Stars by Modern Folk Embroidery. The fabric I'm using is a 46 count fabric by Leo and Roxy Floss Co. called Blank Slate. And the floss I've chosen is also Leo and Roxy uh, called Planetarium. And yeah, beautiful. So, and I do that. This, this is something I have done with all over dyed cotton flosses that come like this, packaged on a card like this. They have a loop in the bottom or not. So let me just give you a quick peek at what I do. Take my first skein and I only generally do this with one skein at a time so the other remaining skeins that I have for this project will stay as they are until I need them. And then I come to the bottom of the loop and then I'm going to cut right through it just like that. Make sure that all of the ends are now free, nothing is looped together at the bottom, and watch this, this is the fun part. So this is the, this is the skein now that's gonna be in use. This is a 46 count fabric, so I'm only gonna be using one strand of floss uh, for my stitching. If I were be going to be using two strands of floss, I would be doing something a little bit different one strand of floss let's see if I can do this on camera here I'm gonna take one strand with my needle start to pull it a bit loose take that strand pull it out the rest of the floss stays neat and tidy on the card that's it I've now removed my floss ready for stitching and the length that that comes um, when I've cut it like that, I now have an 18 inch length of floss, which is a little bit long for stitching with just one strand on such a high count fabric. I would generally go, you know, 15, 16 inches. However, I can have a slightly longer tail and then I'll just have a little extra at the, at the top while I'm stitching. So. I like 18 inches, some people like a little bit less, um, and some people who are stitching with one strand like super long threads, but 18 inches is good for me. And that's how I prepare my floss. And again, I do this with any over dyed cotton that comes on a card, any brand. If they've got a loop at the bottom, they're generally all approximately the same length, and that way everything stays on the original card with the color name on it and I, I don't have to go searching for that or try and remember what it is when I may have more than one project on the go at a time. And it may span, you know, a time span of a few years. So this way everything stays together in one spot and I know what it is. So I hope that was helpful. If you've never seen that, um, maybe it gave you an idea of how you might like to manage your floss. Now I get to have a new start, so I'm pretty excited. And I'll share more about that on my next floss tube video. So until then, I hope that you're well, I hope that you're safe, and I hope that you've got some stitching to enjoy. And I'll see you soon. Happy stitching.